everybody. It's Wednesday, September 23rd, and today we're not going to make treats for us. We're going to make treats for the birds. Now, the first time I did this at home, and you know, I always try it out at home before I show it to you, it didn't work out so great, but we're going to try it again. So um, this was a heart-shaped cookie cutter, and I had several other cookie cutters that I used, and I think the reason that it didn't work out so well is that um, I maybe had, uh, could have used a bit more bird seed in the mix. So uh, we're gonna try it again and see how it works. And instead of using cookie cutters, I'm gonna use a muffin tin, see how that works. All right, so to start, you need two cups of boiling water, voila, and two envelopes of this Knox clear gelatin. You can get this at the grocery store. It's with, usually with the canning stuff. I got it at Food Basics. And with your boiling water, you want to make sure that the gelatin dissolves. Now the gelatin is what's going to hold your bird treat together. All right, I'll let that dissolve a bit. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to put three cups of bird seed. Now most people have got bird seed at home to feed the birds. You can get it just about at Canadian Tire or feed stores, hardware stores, different mixes for different. Yeah, so there's three cups. I've got a little bit extra just in case I need more today. Just about dissolved. And a good friend of mine gave me a little tip when I was complaining to her that this didn't work. That maybe it would work better if we put a little Pam in the, the cookie sheet. We'll see. So we're all learning this together. You guys might have great success with a different way. Or this might work out better this time. So we're going to pour the dissolved gelatin. And you see, yep, you know what? We're going to add another cup to this to make it four cups and I'll just change my recipe. See, so it's all about learning as you go. All right, let's stir this up. That looks better. And, and you've got to be very patient. This isn't something that's going to be ready overnight. I think I gave mine two or three days to really fully That looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spoon the mixture into the, the cups. All right, got the idea, and you're gonna want a hole in these so you can hang them, like I've got this, this one that, that worked <laughs> from the first batch. So you need a straw. Actually, this looks a lot better already than it did the first time, so I'm feeling hopeful. So I'm gonna put a little hole. So you can put the string in. So I'm gonna complete all this. And as I said, it's, I would be patient. Take a couple of days. Um, you'll be able to tell when it's, when it's dry. Take a couple of days to let it fully set. And then you would take your muffin pan and turn it over to get them out. That should work. Um, or I even just used a very, a knife to sort of pry them out of the, uh, the cookie cutters. So I'd like to see how you guys did with this. Um, the birds like them. I had a couple of sort of misshapen ones that I hung from the tree. I brought this one that, that uh, sort of looked uh, somewhat normal for you to see. So there you have it. Um, not treats for you, but treats for the birds for the fall. 
and uh, hope you have some fun with that. We'll see you next time on Maker Moment. Thank you.